So how would you, as a scientist, get to write a scientific magazine article? There are a few ways that could happen. The first is that you could be invited by a magazine that has noticed your research. This doesn't happen very often. This will happen either if you have already gotten into the popular press and then there's kind of a domino effect, or if you're, if you're so well known, you know, you're an Einstein that nobody could not notice you, then a magazine's gonna say, oh, this is our privilege. Or it could happen if it's a very new magazine and they really need science scientists to write articles. So, but the, that's, it's not the norm that you're gonna be invited. So we'll talk about the norms. One of them is that you get connected to a journalist through a press office. So depending on what setting you're in, you may or may not have a press office. It depends how large your setting is. It could also be called the communications office. And in this case, it means you may not get to write the article, but you'll get to contribute your content and work closely with a journalist who writes it. And that's great in and of itself because you'll learn some of the same things we talked about by interacting with a journalist. And that could be your launching place actually to then write your own magazine article is by getting that experience. And I have to say that regardless, it's really important if your organization does have a press or communications office that you start there. And the reason is that organizations that have those are often, they often have a, a strategy for all science communications that leave their building, their institution. And you wanna be part of that strategy. You don't wanna be perceived as a renegade outside of that strategy. And you'll get some mentoring and support from that comms office. So if you have one, start there. Go and say, I'm interested in writing for popular outlets. That's what they're called, right? It's the popular press. And see what the best way to do that is through your communications or press office. And then the most common way whether or not you're working with your press office, the most common way to connect with a magazine is gonna be that you pitch the story. So you're gonna pitch a story or the journalist in your press office is gonna pitch it on your behalf. And so we are gonna talk about what it means to pitch. It's not pitching a ball, although it's not unlike pitching a ball because you're, you're actually trying to hit a mark. 